Hello guys, uh, today it's about uh, changing the washers from these oil pipes. Uh, as you can see, oil got spilled on the motor, on the engine. Uh, so in order to uh, avoid that, uh, the oil leakage from there, we're gonna uh, change the washers. So I've ordered uh, this washer kit from, uh, from Wish. Uh, it arrived in two weeks, which is not bad. Uh, so we're gonna use these two to measure which one it's the perfect one for the bolts that we're gonna uh, unplug here um, and also as you can see uh, down here take a look here please uh, here as well we have two copper washers one here and one here actually three two here and one here and uh, we're gonna change them as well because as you can see uh, above the oil pump oil got spilled and I really don't like that so we're gonna change those washers as well after that I'm gonna polish all the chrome uh, components the exhaust um, and uh, all the chrome components using this uh, car polish and also some uh, pots polisher I've bought it from a local supplier here uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna make this beauty clean and uh, oil spot less keep in touch in order to have better access to the um, uh, bolt pipe bolts, uh, we're gonna take down the um, gas tank. In order to do that, I already took down the seat. Uh, we're gonna take this down. This is supposed to have a screw here, but mine doesn't. I will replace and put the screw there. And by taking it like this apart, you know, it's fixed in these two, here and here. And this is why we need to take this down for the gas tank because it's it's uh it's pressed here in the gas tank so okay after we took uh, this down and the one from the other side we can then release this bolt and then we have two pipes here uh rubber pipes this one that we're gonna just simply uh, take it down uh, we're gonna use some um uh pliers for that and also, uh, so this one, this little uh, guy here, and then there's the main um, main duct behind there, which uh, brings the gasoline to the carburetors. It's back here. Yeah, that one. So we're gonna use some pliers in order to uh, push that clip behind. After you remove the two hoses, uh, from the other side and uh, also this bolt up here uh, then you need to push this hose from here because this is connected to the gas tank and you you don't want to you want to take it out easy uh, when you push the gas tank you see is this one and then the other one that we need to disconnect is this little guy here which we can disconnect from here we don't need to push it from down there so we will disconnect this one as well Now, as you can see, we can pull out and also we'll drag these hoses out. Okie dokie, now we can remove the gas tank. And put, this, put it aside and don't forget to put this on off before doing that, otherwise all the gas will come out from the gas tank. First thing we want to do is to clean really well the whole thing with some brake fluid brake cleaner a lot of mud around here good and then clean it with a rag good do the same on the other side Okay, so after we clean really well the whole place, uh, I put a rag uh, around the pipe because most probably oil will get spilled and I don't want to spill it on the, the whole engine. <laughs> and now with a 10 millimeter, uh, I'll just come around here and open this bolt. Okay. Then we're gonna change the two washers and 
We're gonna tie it to the Torx, the manual Torx. Uh, it's an eight millimeter thread. Uh, it needs 13 newton meters. 13. Okay, so uh, washers are replaced with new ones, and now we're gonna tie this uh, bolt up, this one and the one for, from the other side, uh, with 13 newton millimeters. We're gonna actually need uh, to remove this little box here by uh, releasing this hose that we're doing right now and by uh, unscrewing these two bolts and, uh, and that will be about and also releasing this this hose right here. Okay. okay. No the bolts. Okay, thirty newton millimeters. Now uh, we moved to the bottom bolt. Uh, this hopefully uh, will come out without removing the carbs, uh, and hopefully I'm gonna change this washer and this one and there's a top one here underneath the bolt uh, but we'll see if we can uh, take this out uh, i put a rag here just to not spill oil over the place probably oil will come from the from the hoses okay so it seems that the bolt will not come out uh, it hits the carbs so i need to take down the carbs in order to uh, also change these three washers down here uh, okay, so it seems that the copper uh, ceilings that uh, we tried to put here uh, on the pipes uh, didn't work well because uh, copper it's harder than aluminium. So uh, uh, the blacksmith will take care of these uh, washers and uh, he will try to burn them and then uh, insert them into cold water and this way the copper will get softer. Uh, I don't really recommend uh, to do this. Uh, usually I will use uh, aluminium washer and that's it. But uh, I will try this uh, this thing, we'll try this thing today and we'll see what's happening. Because uh, why aluminium and why softer washers here? Because the tightening force is only uh, 13 newton meters, so it's a small tightening force. Uh, so this way the aluminium deforms uh, sufficient enough to, um, to have no leakage after uh, mounting them. So this is gonna be one thing, and then the other thing, we're gonna take down the carburetors in order to reach this bolt down here that holds the, um, uh, the pipes, the two pipes up here uh, in the oil pump. And for this, we've opened uh, the screws holding uh, the carbs here, uh, the screws holding the air, uh, the air box on the carbs. Uh, also, uh, we've unbolted all the screws holding the battery and we removed the battery uh, in order to, uh, you know, disconnect the airbox from all the bolts, keeping them on the frame. Uh, this one will be the last bolt holding the airbox in its place and uh, we also opened uh, these screws and these Phillips head screwdrivers. Uh, and now we'll try to uh, take the whole air box and uh, try to um, take it down from the carburetors. This is the first step. Then we'll take the, we'll uh, unscrew the, um, these two little screws holding the cables, the acceleration cables on their place. And uh, then by uh, grabbing the carburetors and moving them up and down and right and left, we'll uh, take the carburetors uh, out of these. Using the uh, flathead screwdriver and uh, squish it here and then dragging the whole airbox we managed to take down the airbox from the carburetors and now we will try to take the carburetors down from, uh, from these pipes. So by moving up and down the carburetor came out very easy. Now on the right side, from the right side we can take it out a little sufficient enough to have space to the bolt down there. With a 12 millimeter, we can unscrew the bolt uh, going into the oil pump. Then we'll go ahead and with the 10 newton uh, millimeters, we're gonna open the um, bolts holding the pipes up here. Remove the copper washers down here, tighten it up with uh, 23 newton meters spec from the book. 
and uh, also put here the new copper aluminium <laughs> washers that uh, my uh, Yonchi the blacksmith uh, is about to make by burning the copper washers and inserting them in cold water immediately after the copper washer gets red and then we'll um, put everything back around the bike and see if um, if we have leaks or not hopefully we we won't have That's how you make the copper aluminum. Great job. Perfect. All three new copper washers are in place and uh, we're ready to tighten this bolt back with 22 newton meters. Not more, not less than 22 newton meters. Bolt it screw to 22 newton meters. The bolt down there. We press the carburetors back. We can put a screw in the the little screw here holding the, um, the cables, we actually didn't move the cables away. Uh, now we can use the freshly um, softened washers for uh, mounting them here on this side and on the other side. Uh, bolting them at uh, 12 newton meters and then we can put everything back together and test. Okay, so newton meter wrench is on 15 newton meters, even though the book says uh, 13 newton meters because it's an improvised washer, we'll do 2 newton meters more, so 15 newton meters. And that's it. Hoses are clipped back and uh, safety pins are back on. Uh, now we will install this uh, uh, gas box back. Using these two 10 uh, newton uh, 10 millimeters bolts, and also put back this hose in front of it. Uh, 10 new uh, 10 millimeter bolt holding the airbox here back on. Uh, we're gonna move on to this bolt holding the airbox from uh, upside. And put this thing back holding the battery, and then the bolt back here holding the airbox and uh, this battery support and then we're gonna continue with uh, the battery and uh, with these one two and three bolts down here going through this thing uh, assembled now and um, we'll move on <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like something falling on. <laughs> Bolts holding the battery are uh, almost back. We have one tiny little guy down here which probably yeah. fell down. It's stuck here. Uh -huh. no, Perfection. <laughs> um, before putting the gas tank back, now it's a good moment to take a wet rag and uh, remove all the dust that it's underneath the seat and the gas tank and also the engine you can wipe out everything while you have uh, access to it uh, now is the moment for the gas tank we're gonna insert these uh, hoses through here through the airbox mufflers somehow Okay, then we're gonna go with it till uh, down here. Okay, and now we have to put uh, the gas tank on these two uh, rubber mountings. Gas tank in front until the screw, you can see the screw here the hole for the screw that means it's in the right position and also the tank it's uh, pretty smooth 
and it stays good. Now put back the bolt using a 12 uh, millimeter and then go ahead with the uh, side panels which are inserted uh, right here and here and also they are tightened here with the uh, Philip head screw and uh, that will be about it. Don't forget, uh, <laughs> we actually forgot to put back the um, main uh, gasoline hose and uh, don't forget to put it back before you, you want to run the engine. <laughs> Also don't forget the little hose, the vacuum hose down here with, uh, with its small securance pin. Okay, so the trick with um, burned copper gas uh, washers and then uh, inserted into cold water didn't work for this side. Uh, the other side is not leaking but this side is leaking so uh, we're just gonna put some new aluminium washers that we have here gas tank and it's uh, not necessary this time we are going to only uh, work at these uh, this bolt and the other one from the other side going through the pipe so this way I've only opened I removed the side panels from this side and the other side and then I've opened this 12 new uh, 12 um, millimeter bolt and I put uh, under the gas tank some paper in order to lift it up a little bit so I can have access here now you can see the new uh, aluminium washers almost tighten all the way back uh, we'll take out the newton meter wrench set it on 30 newton meters and do the same thing for the other side and uh, see how it goes so guys 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 leaking problem it's gone away uh, it wasn't actually the washers the whole video I thought it's the washer that is the problem that doesn't seal well but actually it was the pipe which was a little bit bent so when tightening it was tightening in the um, wrong position so it, the, the pipe wasn't perfect parallel um, with, uh, with the head of the engine that way when I was tightening it even though I used a copper sealing or aluminium sealing uh, it didn't work so good thanks to my father he discovered that and uh, we bent it a little bit in order to give it the perfect parallel position then tighten it back with the copper sealing and an aluminium sealing at uh, 30 newton meters the spec from the book and everything it's alright no leaking thanks for watching